I recently watched a movie called The Shack. And there's also a book that talks so well about evil, about death, and about eternity. Again, that was Superintendent Doug Carter, Indiana State Police, mentioning the, the faith-based movie, The Shack, which mm -hmm. deals with faith, grief, heaven. Makes me right? wonder if he's speaking directly to the person who he believes this sketch is of to say, look, if you have any sort of conscience, Casey, come forward and tell us. This is religion-based, this movie. It is. And even though it's about forgiveness and faith, he doesn't say those words. He says evil, death, and eternity. And he mentions the movie, but then he says, and there's a book. Now that's interesting. I don't think the book he's talking about is The Shack. I think he's talking about the book, the Bible. The Bible. Mm -hmm. And he is really mm -hmm. trying to appeal. I think this is a church-going person in the community who, who believes on the surface has faith, but struggles deeply with his identity, maybe his sexual proclivities, his sexual preferences that are out of sync with his religion. Doug Carter and would, would, be condemned, condemned, yes. would be condemned. Would be condemned. And I also by think this religion. is mentioned to to jab at him again yep. because the quote was, "How you left them in the woods yep. is yep. not what they're experiencing they're today." In, in other words, they, they're, they're happier than all of us. Yes. We right? undid yeah. everything. Yeah. 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 And that that was my thought as well, Mike. That this this perpetrator attempted to destroy these girls, leave them in this condition. I think it was brutal, but now they're at peace. They're and at peace, you know, but you from, won't be. Yeah. Uh, from corrupted to mm -hmm. uncorrupted. Okay, yeah. real quick. Again, what a great panel. Thank you guys so <laughs> much. So, here. with all this said, and I will go down the line, are we any closer to an arrest or not? Just yes, absolutely. I think that we are so much closer right now. I have full confidence that they're going to solve this. Okay, so I'm going to say yes, but if it doesn't happen in the next few weeks, I'm going to worry that this is a Hail Mary pass and mm -hmm. they have nothing. Mm -hmm. Joe, Joe. I'm all in. I think the superintendent showed he was vulnerable, showed that he was depending upon the community, showed himself as a father, a person who cares. Mm -hmm. Uh, revealed evidence asking for public help. I think they have forensic evidence as well. I think they're very close to this case, and I think the public will help them crack it. Marine? I think they're going to get him, and I think the best part right of this whole case right now is that he's suffering, he's freaking out, he's looking over his shoulder, and he's doing exactly what you talked about earlier. He's going down, and it's going to be soon. Ooh, mm -hmm. we can all hope. You've been to the community. Mm -hmm. Coming off this, you were there. Do people, was there a renewed hope that yes, there's going to be justice served and our community is going to be safer? Yeah, there was. There was an excitement in the air because of the new sketch in a way that, okay, it's been two years. Maybe this will lead to an arrest finally. And Kelsey, Libby's sister, dropped him off at the bridge that day. She said, my sister was always begging me, please take us to the bridge, please. She said yes that day. She feels tremendous guilt. And she took me on that car ride. Look here, this is Kelsey. take her to places like, can we go to McDonald's or can we go to Lafayette and go to see a movie? And it seemed like I was always saying no because I didn't want to go all the way to Lafayette, but I didn't have money to pay for it. So, um, yeah, this time I just, I decided I'd said no enough that, like, I could handle taking her this time. Do you regret that? Yeah, um, I sometimes I wish I would have been a mean sister and just said no. Um, but I, you know it's not your fault. I'm getting there. I'm learning that, I guess. Gosh, your heart just goes out to her. I mean, you, you sat in a car with her. You spent time. You shared a meal. I mean, it gets us back to mm -hmm. the grief of a family. I mean, we're hoping to help solve a case yeah. and answer, ask the, the deep questions. But the deep hurt lies with her. Is two little girls missing? Yeah. And I spoke to Libby's grandmother, Becky, and every day she posts on Facebook saying, This is the day. And she looked at me and said, One of these days I'm going to be right. And talks about it, right? Daily. I mean, I, I know you mentioned it, and I, and I think the, the emotions well up with you um, as you see the daily posts, just a, a relentless. Uh, quest for justice. For I was in that girls. house. You feel the yeah. spirit of Abby and Libby. You really do. And at the presser, it's about who did this, meaning this sketch. But at the heart of this is a town left devastated, the community of Delphi, missing these adorable little girls. That's Libby. Her favorite holiday was Easter. And they didn't color eggs this year because the grandmother said, look, there's just a hole in the family, Joe. Time is up for this killer. If he's watching now, I think that, uh, you know what, the pressure is on. Yeah. I think he is living amongst that community, and I think it's a matter of time before they crack this case. Yeah. And I think they're working on reverse genealogy right now, or forensic genealogy, to um, 
hone in on this killer. Hitting it with technology yeah. and heart that this person scored Absolutely. real quick. Casey. Trying to get him to come forward and confess. Basically saying, that is your best bet right now. I still think you have a little bit of conscience. Do the right thing. Mm. Well, that would solve it. Yeah. That would solve exactly. it without the genealogy. Just do the right thing and come forward. Okay. And they're still taking tips, too. They need your yep. help as well. They need your help as well. So if people see any change in any type of behavior mm -hmm. or if they find an item that doesn't belong in the home or to mm -hmm. this person. Thanks again for watching. The Delphi murders. It's going to be solved soon. Trust.